Hey, what's up? It's your boy Prince back with another video. And, uh, as I said, I was going to give you guys a synopsis of basic training, what to expect, what to do, what not to do. Um, but yeah, it might be different for you. I'm just talking from my experience. Don't don't put this in stone. Like this is how it's going to be. I'm just think, just telling you these from my experiences. Yeah, so basic training, right? Um, a list of stuff here that you usually have to take with you into basic training you don't need much civilian clothing like uh, because you're gonna be in your dorm in jumpers military jumpers all week or your mtps so you're hardly gonna ever get time to be in your cvs unless you're going to sleep probably three pairs and something that you can wear back home when you're leaving camp like a nice suit or a shirt and a pants but you don't need much that's all um you need shower gel for sure shower gel you need toothpaste um your cream just need stuff like you should know this if you want to walk with snacks you're definitely going to be in the need for lots of snacks sometimes when you're just in your dorm or after an exercise you're gonna get peckish at night and all that you need snacks to take you to training uh and there's a shop so you don't have to bring much snacks either but just bring what you love in case you might not see it in the shop here things uh shoe polish if you can get some nice shoe polish um it's good to take those and some nice dark tan um yeah i think dark tan looks better on the shoes rather than the mid tan so if you can get some nice dark tan uh, shoe polish that would be very good just expect to meet a lot of people different nationalities different belief systems um different different personalities and you have to try and mesh with that and um, just be respectful as much as you can as well respect is one of the main things just be respectful especially to your the chain of command the corporal the sergeant the platoon commander uh, just be respectful to every chain of command you're gonna get beastings um you're gonna get in trouble sometimes you don't really expect to do things but some things are gonna happen where you're gonna get caution for and discipline for and the worst thing for you to do is show attitude like just take the discipline it's 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 either yes sir no sir <laughs> you know yes sir no sir um just play the game be respectful and just learn from your mistakes i think the best set of locks to walk with uh, combination locks like use these because it's quicker for me when I'm rushing trying to open my locker I can just spin the combinations on these and get my lock open my lock open rather than looking for keys so I, I suggest you get these combination locks yeah probably like eight pounds for four on Amazon yeah so definitely look into those like banter is something that you're gonna have to get used to people are gonna trouble you tease you it's not something for you to take to heart just give it back if they're giving it to you give it back is like friendly bantering they're gonna like make mockery and stuff like it's a part of the army is a culture it's where you get tough so just get used to it um if they're giving it to you give it back at the end of the day you're all laughing nothing serious um, if it gets really serious, you can report it to chain of chain of command. You think that it's gone past banter and all that, but just expect banter as to the trouble and stuff. You're gonna meet people who are not really mature. Sometimes there are different levels of people mature, uh, immature, so <laughs> and fun, quiet, da da da. So you just be yourself. At the end of the day, don't try and be somebody else to just fit in. Because I was just me. I was chill, cool, quiet. Um, you give bring broad banter to me i'm giving it back like <laughs> and uh yeah but just be yourself don't be fake and trying to you know don't try and fit in you just be you whatever your whatever culture you're from just embrace that culture i was from the caribbean and i, I was never nothing but a caribbean and i always want to be acknowledged as a caribbean person another thing too, this video is all over the place i'm sorry but i'm just trying to rush this video training for me personally it was a challenge because I mean, I came from the Caribbean, I knew nothing about weapons. I've never touched a weapon in my life. Like, um, even in the first week of training, losing my grandmother, which was really hard for me. So, um, you're just gonna have to learn to just push your stuff. Don't sulk on stuff. Yes, show emotions. Don't be afraid to show emotions. But um, just know that you have to get through things. Don't be a background person as well. The chain of command, they wanna see you assertive, confident. Like if they ask questions, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to 
voice your thoughts um, in classes in lectures don't be afraid to ask questions if you don't know something or you're not clear just ask questions don't be afraid some people are like they'll be like oh I don't know but I don't want everybody to, to, to know that I don't know you're there for training for learning and your chain of command they're getting paid to teach you so and volunteer <laughs> they love to see when people volunteer so be that confident person don't be that front front person all the time but don't be that background person find that balance because people don't like sometimes you always want to be doing everything nah just be that in between again just be you as i said you can only be you yeah just be prepared not to be on your phone a lot <laughs> like sometimes just be like it's like uh you wake up and you're just ready to start your day and your day will go from morning to sometimes 5 p.m and it breaks in between yes lunch and stuff but because it's a rush system and urgency and all that it's a military so you're not gonna have much time on your phone so one of the main things is mental resilience and you must have that willpower to overcome so challenges are gonna come sometimes you're gonna doubt like why am i even here someday when doubts come just remember why you're there and if even for us coming well to journey from miles and miles and miles away from home and the expenses of traveling and stuff you gotta remember why you took that step so even though the challenges come and the doubts and the fears and the and the whys just remember the positive whys and why you're there it's one thing that whatever you're doing in basic training it has been done before so you're not the first person going through this or feeling these emotions and feeling these fears and doubts are or uh, ignorant to these certain things as i said i was ignorant to weapon handling and things so i had to come and adapt quickly you have to adapt quickly and um here yeah, just push you some subjects that you can do your research at home on if you have time to just be ahead to weapon handling just go online google british army weapon handling see some of the notes and what to do read up on them also um CBRN, which these are the chemical, biological, uh, gas and stuff like that. Also your BCD, battlefield, battlefield casualty jails, um, map reading. Just do your research now. If I were you, I would be like, like do your researches now, so that when you get there, you already have a little idea um, of what to expect and, and all that. Also, APLA, operation laws like laws of armed conflict um yeah just study all these um explosive ordinance chat EOT. you're gonna be in, in rooms with people from different backgrounds as i said different beliefs uh, just find a good group with your level of drive if you're there to just achieve you're not there to waste time choose your friends wisely and the group that you you are um, you're involved with um yeah you're gonna get annoyed because uh, your personal space is going to get somewhat disrupted people are going to play music at times when you want to rest and yeah but just remember you know, to just adapt your mindset to just achieving rather than the chaos just think of what's at the end your mindset is telling you give up like why are you here like go back home and chill but nah I achieved it it's done and you can do it too all the best with your training and yeah go and get this journey you got this you can just believe that you can and as i said mental resilience think of the positive push towards achieving it